welcome back. Pungent Punctuation is an exhibition of paintings and sculpture at the Didi Museum in Lagos. Our review tonight looks at the works of George Igodalo, who uses a lot of metal and gold foil in his over 20 works of art that talk about different issues, celebrating women in his art. Over 20 experimental high-relief painting by George Igudalo is exhibited at the DD Museum in Lagos. Works of art that show what the graduate of the Yaba College of Technology Lagos has been working on during his break from the art scene. I wanted to arouse the minds of uh, people who are not too uh, keen on the arts, as well as those who are keen on the arts, who would understand the language. Perhaps that's why he christened the exhibition Pungent Punctuations, the strong ideas he was toying with while he was hibernating. He's been part of other group exhibitions, but by standing alone, he is able to reveal these artistic pangs and sensibilities in his works where he has explored several techniques and put them together to create a conversation on campus. Metal foil is one material George uses to add texture to his surfaces. One of them is titled The Mirage. Other works include I Saw Bling Bling, a portrait of a lady in a high corrugated and pastel mixed media with gold foil for blushes and marbles for the eyes in a dominant orange background. And then there's Face of a Drummer, Friends and Admirers, Slumber, Intimate Whispers, among others. In this piece, I took what I played with on um, an eye for bling bling a step further. I wanted to create high, tensive, corrugated movements that basically when you, if you were to step into the room where the piece is and you walk past it, very close, you walk past it, you just see a whole mass of uh, colors and movements. You cannot make any detail out. Before he graced the walls of the university, I Judge had already been a lover of the artworks by masters such as Yusuf Grillo, Dele Jagade, and Kolade Oshinowo, who had always intrigued him. He tells the line of art historian Professor Ola Oloidi and admits that other artists featured have influenced him greatly in his artistic journey. Each artist exhibited is not begging for any professional clearance. He has already made an impact by daring to break barriers. And in sports news, Nigeria will play Ghana in the semi-final of the ongoing African Under-20 Championship in Dakar. The final Eagles coach Manu Garba insists his team is prepared to do battle with any team for a place in the final. Also, the United States is considering a new approach to ending the war in Syria that includes renewed negotiations with the Syrian President Bashar al-Assad. U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry has described the war in the country as one of the worst of tragedies ever seen. The White House had before now insisted the president, uh, Bashar al-Assad, step down to end the conflict. And the main news again. Kano State Governor Rabi Okwakwansu today led the Hausa community in Lagos uh, on a visit to the national leader of the All Progressives Congress, the APC, Mr. Bola Tinubu, to plan for the forthcoming elections. The governor also used the occasion to react to what he calls the seeming disrespect for elders by his colleague in one of the southwest states. Also, President Gulok Jonathan today gave assurances that if re-elected, he will improve the tourism and entertainment sectors, making them strong enough to compete with the global environment. The president was responding to questions at the showbiz interactive session with Nollywood stars in Lagos.
And that's the news at 10 tonight. Uh, thank you for watching. I am Amirachi Urbani. Up next is a repeat of the live broadcast of the Showbiz Interactive Session with President Goodluck Jonathan. Please stay with us.